Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. It's your local family with Rita and Krishna. I hope everyone is having a good day. Thank you in advance for watching and we hope that you enjoy this video. Please subscribe to our channel and share with everyone. So we got some snapper. Tony just cleaned up the snapper there. The man Tony did an excellent job there, right? Yeah, yeah, good job. Clean up the snapper. The snapper ready for go. Fries. Yeah, make some cutters or what? Yeah, make some fries and some stew. Make some uh, fry snapper, right? Yeah. And some snapper stew. <laughs> All right. So we got Rita cleaning up some smelts here, or sardin fish, right? Just came out of Sandy Hook yesterday. Or just come from the beach today. What? You catfish, man? Right off the beach, right? I mean, you're gonna fry that. So we got some more. Oh, we got here. We got some peanuts. Yep, yep, yep. Peanuts. We're making some fried peanuts. We celebrate Lachmi over here and Tony over there. A wedding anniversary, 20 wedding anniversary. Congratulations, guys. Tell us how the marriage life is. How the marriage life is. Good, good. Good? Yeah. That good, So, we're going to season up this uh, fish here. We got Tony doing the seasoning. Where are we going in with some grind garlic? We got some grind seasoning. Fresh seasoning from the garden. Yep, some green seasoning. Fresh one off of the garden there. Now we can put some pepper here. We got some nice hot pepper sauce there. This hot? Yeah, should be good. Yeah, it's a very hot pepper. Then you can always put some more on top, right? Whatever else we got. We got some um, curry powder. Curry powder. Oh, we got some curry powder. We're gonna get the main thing. And now we're gonna give it some salt. This is gonna be chatok motok. <laughs> <laughs> All right, see the man going in with the hand there? We use our hand, we don't use spoon. You don't use spoon or gloves and something? No. In Guyana, we use our hand. All right, so you're doing it Guyana style, right? Guyana style, no flour, nothing. No flour? Just curry powder and garlic, pepper, and All salt. Right. It's looking good, looking good. All right, so we got the first set of uh, fish in here. Tony is uh, helping out there, right Tony? Yeah. How are you coming along there? Coming good, coming good there. Coming good, coming good. Next for eat, ready for eat. Ready for eat? So fish and beer are go good, man. Yeah. Oh, the first set of fish is done. We're not frying this one too brown because we're going to make curry with it. Of course, we're going to keep some for some cutters, right Tony? Yeah. We can make curry with it, all right? This is looking real good. So Tony going to give us a, a taste in a little bit. This is garlic and pepper. This uh, fish no just flour. come out of the Atlantic Ocean, right? Yeah. Out of the Atlantic and into the path. <laughs> Fresh off the coast of Guyana, Georgetown, Guyana. And what we got over here, we're making some multani today. So we're going to show you guys that all the way through. So first we got the oil warming up here. And we're going to show the other step. Today. Come on, give the oh, fish yeah. a try there. See, give it a review there. Hot, right? Good, good. <laughs> it's good? Yeah. Cheers, cheers. Knock some beer there. Salute. Cheers, cheers. Salute, salute. Happy anniversary. Fry fish and beer, right? Yeah, are we chunking up the moltani there? Are we bunje the moltani? Here we got onion, some curry leaf. Just onion and curry leaf? For now? All right, so that's the beginning uh, step there. We're making moltani, like I said, right? So we put in some... Um, some masala, curry powder, grind jeera, garlic, some grind garlic, and pepper, some green seasoning. Salt, what else? Salt. Pepper. Salt, pepper. Similar to curry, right? Yeah. So we chunk in this first. This is the first step of making the multani. We also got some goat meat here. Some people use the head and the foot, or a bony part. Today we're making a small pot, so we're making it nice and chat up, smart up. <laughs> Some uh, fresh green seasoning going in there. We just picked that from the garden. Some celery and some thyme. This thing is smelling good here, Tony. Yeah, yeah, we get a lot of food going down here. You get a lot of food, right? You also got the fish. 
still going here. And we got, we're gonna buy some rice. Of course, we gotta get the rice, right? Yeah, rice. Rice with some duck curry. Rice with some duck curry? The duck finish done already. Duck finish already, right? Yeah. Now we got the, the goat over here. We got some dal going in here for this uh, Moltani. So, dal and the meat is the main ingredient, right? For this thing. And um, so a couple weeks ago, we had this, right? For Rita party. And uh, Tony was right. When you eat this and you drink, then I get drunk and drink whole night and party whole night, right? So we're gonna party whole night tonight. We're gonna big buy back there. Right, right. <laughs> <laughs> we got a well stock bar. We're gonna show you guys that in a little bit. Then big buy that. Go back at the back. Yep. Tony got the Jameson. We didn't open the Jameson the last time. So everybody was drinking beer and taking shots, right? And black label. So today we're gonna open that Jameson and uh, spree on that. So the, the meat already bungee. We add some hot water in here to get it going. I forget to video that. I was busy uh, doing some other stuff. But this is what the, uh, this is what it's look like. So this mostly is gonna boil now. And then we'll get the tasting later on. We still got the fish going here, fried fish, hot water. We got some tambren. Tambren is a secret ingredient to make the Moltani taste nice, right? Mm -hmm. So we got some sour tambren uh, going here. This sour tambren come all the way from Black Bush. Black Bush tambren. So Tony got some baked lamb there. Tony, give this thing a try there, man. Good, eh? good. Give it some hot sauce. Very good, very good. Good? What are you short for? To eat now. Short for eating, right? Yeah. All right. If you come out good, Richard might come out. If it tastes good, that means we cook them. Last time he's back. Come out. So we got this uh, tomato or tomato. Come all the way from Schenectady. Come from uh, Lachmi and Tony Garden, right? Yeah. See my garden. See my garden. Beach. And this one come from the beach. Off the coast of uh, New Jersey yeah. by Sandy Hook Beach. Yeah. This is the smelts, right? Or the yeah. fine fish? Sardin fish. Sardin fish yeah. or smelts. So we're gonna fry some of this. We got the rice going here. And over here we got the multani. Some people call it mulgatani. Whatever you wanna call it, right? Yeah. Drink, eat this and drink a lot of rum tonight. <laughs> we got Tony uh, frying up the fish there. Today yeah. we got fish party. Fish party, fish party. A little bit of meat, a little bit of meat here. And mostly fish, right? Yeah, mostly. We got the snapper back there. We're gonna make some uh, snapper curry. Those are the preparation there. Some snapper stew, right? Stew, not stew. So this coconut come all the way from Johanna. This way I cut this coconut here now. Johanna teeth this water coconut. Teeth this water coconut from um, Tony Pantam. <laughs> back grade. Okay, back, back, back grade. Back grade. Let me see if you get jelly. Alright, you got a little bit, not too much. On your big it's a young coconut, but um, we're gonna do when your teeth you get choice, you gotta grab a quick and go away. <laughs> so we're gonna make some stew fish here. We got the oil yeah, going. Yeah. And we got the fish here. We're gonna save some for fish. cutters. Yeah, save some for cutters. Mm -hmm. Alright. Mm -hmm. What's going on with this nut? We're gonna patch this nut later on, right? We got right. some fresh mango. And we got some fresh seasoning from this garden here. Look at this here. And of course we got the uh, multani going here. This is almost there. Take a look at this. The meat is uh, boiled already. We're waiting on the dal now. And this to get a little bit thicker. And it should be good to go. Onion and pepper going here. The chef come all the way from uh, Schenectady here, right? Yeah, here we cooking here today. But we get a party, but we do fish party. Fish party, right? Yeah. <laughs> Seafood party. Yeah. Not, not too many chicken. Right, right. Not too many stuff. So look at all these uh, preparations. Actually, we got the home. We catch this fish. You catch that fish? Rita cleaned that fish all day today. Struggle, struggle. I make sure I left some fish I need to die, okay? Got <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the oil warm up here. We're going in with some onion and pepper. So, chunky the curry. Oh, it's not curry. It's stew, right? Yeah. We get this stew started. We give it some nice onion and some nice pepper. This onion pick it as well from the farm. Yeah, it's a fresh onion. onion and fresh pepper. Can you fresher than this, right? Mm. 
All right, it's smelling real good too. So what's going on? How's job site and so? <laughs> Just going good, just going good. Just going good? Yeah. All right. You got to reach over there. She worked hard today to get yeah. that fish. All this fine fish. It's a lot of work, right? Yeah. That's but I guess uh, it pays off at the end, right? That fish tastes real good. You I'm get some dal and rice? Some, no, no dal and rice. No dal and rice? rice? I'm going to stand you put my hand in some lime sour. <laughs> okay. Enjoy. Yeah. Enjoy, enjoy. All right, so what do we got here? What do we got in there, Tony? In this uh, mixture? The mixture. What, 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 what? what is in that mixture? That, you gotta tell the secret ingredient, man. <laughs> All right, Tony. The chef don't want to share his uh, secret, but I believe we got some. Uh, it looks like some curry powder and a little bit of grind garlic. You didn't want to tell me, so I'm, I'm not sure. I'm guessing. You got a little mixture, you see? It's a top secret. <laughs> you don't want to share. You <laughs> might keep saying it's a little mixture. <laughs> and of course, we got this all this uh, seasoning here. We got some green seasoning from our garden. And the tomatoes. Let's go into this. Here, step out. The man is uh, keeping it the top secret. The eh? man said mixture, mixture. The mixture. <laughs> the mixture. The man don't want to give out. <laughs> they didn't want to. They didn't want to. Right. So we got some fresh mango here. The mango, this come from Black Bush. Where come from? By Johanna? Yakasari. Yakasari mango. mango. All right, this is Yakasari mango. This is from my neighbor. He's from my neighbor too. We're done. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, bunjal here. We got some tamarind and stuff in there too, right? Yeah, tamarind and mango. So, guys, we fried the fish earlier, right? So, we're not going to put the fish in right away because uh, we fried it. So, we're going to make this here. Towards the end, we're going to put the fish in, right, Chef? Yeah. All right. Then the mango has done. When the mango almost done, we put the fish in because it's already fried. You don't want it to loose up too much. All right, so let, we're gonna let this bungee and we're gonna come back and show you guys how we uh, continue the process. And the Mulgatani is coming along pretty well here. Here we are in the pit now. All right, so we got this shoe going there, the mango boil, everything boiled. We got the fish going in now, right? Yeah. You don't need a lot of time for this. This is gonna finish real fast. After you put this in here, maybe five minutes, right? Yeah, yeah. Five minutes and we're good. We got stew cor stew. So we're gonna gar Hold on. we're gonna garnish it with some nice bird pepper and hurrah pepper. We also got some um, shallot, fresh shallot out of the garden. Or scallion. Yeah. Like I said, we're gonna garnish it with some fresh scallion or shallot. And this is push cook style. This snapper come all the way from the coast of Guyana, Georgetown, Guyana. So the multani done, we're gonna chunky it now, right? That's the final step. This is what it looks like here. We got a whole big pot here. We got dal, black eye, chana. We got some goat meat, of course. Tambren. Tambren is the secret ingredient, right? Fresh curry leaf, everything fresh out the garden. Even the goat, we killed the goat fresh this morning. <laughs> and the oil is hot up here, so we're gonna change it. You got some garlic. You got some garlic, and of course, you got the jeera, right? You got the modella jeera. <laughs> so, garlic and jeera, just like how you chunk it down. Only this thing smell good here, bye. <laughs> That's the secret of keeping Tony for 20 years, right? So you guys are celebrating 20 year anniversary. I guess this is the secret, right? There we go. So I'm gonna try this out. Normally you take it in a cup. If you want plenty, you get a bowl. I'm not gonna go with plenty of meat. I'm just going with mostly with the, the gravy part. We have to switch it out. You take from cup, you switch the bowl. The cup's too small, so. We're gonna go ahead and try this thing here. 
This is what it looks like. I got some meat here, goat meat. Tony, go ahead, try it. Wow, it's good. This is good, this is good. This is good, it's very flavorful. We can taste all the tambourine from this. The tambourine give it a, a different uh, kick. Man, this is good. Good times, those babe. Hmm? <laughs> Who's the chef? I got big up the chef. You got big up the chef, Lashmi. My, my is the chef. <laughs> Last we did an excellent job here. The best uh, Montani or Montani, right? The pepper and everything is good. Perfect, perfect. You can't get better than this. You type better than me. <laughs> <laughs> enjoy, enjoy, Tony. So we got the fried nut. This is done here. It's looking real good. Yeah. This, I buy this on your car. So from Bar Beach Revan, you go airport, right? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> when you catch boat, you're in the boat, you catch yeah. boat to go over and you chew. Look at this here. Real, real good. Golden. Nice and golden brown, right? Yeah. Excellent, excellent. So them two chefs finish. And what happened? I finished up with the beer. Why are you drink now? So that, so that. Black label, black label and coke. Cheers, cheers. Cheers. Happy, Happy anniversary to Tony and Ashri. 20 years together, right? Yeah, same to you too. All right. Twelve. Hello, hello, on behalf of myself, my wife Rita here, Ethan and Jenna, and my mother-in-law over there, we want to congratulate these two beautiful and handsome couple here for celebrating their 20 years of uh, wedding anniversary, you know, 20 years ago. They got married, still going, happy and strong. They love each other dearly and very much. <laughs> and they so, create this princess. And they create that little beautiful princess over there. So congratulations on you guys for 20 years of marriage life, right? I wish you guys nothing but the best and hope that you guys stay together until the very end, right? Until death do us part. All right, so congratulations. Happy anniversary. Uh, before we cut the cake, let's, uh, or we cut the cake first. No, no, Let, whatever, um, cake. cake okay. first. Cake first and then uh, Nuri, I got something to say. So let's cut the cake. And we're gonna feed each other, right? The bride, the bride cut the, the cake. cake. Yeah. The, the bride cut, cut the cake. The cake. Oh, she wants to feed them first. Okay, Nuria, go ahead. Feed your uh, mom and dad, and then you'll have your chance for your speech. Little bit. Little bit. You know your daddy like cake. Give him a big piece. <laughs> All right, give him a big piece now. Beautiful, beautiful. You get a speech here. Aww. All right, Maria is congratulating both of her parents. And now she got a speech. There we go. Happy anniversary, Mommy and Daddy. I love you and I know you guys do too. 20 years ago in 2000 to August 31st, my two loving, beautiful parents got married. 10 years later, a baby was born. I love you and always will. Happy 20th anniversary, Mommy and Daddy. I love you. Yeah! Wow! Couldn't say it better! Good job, Maria. All right. Uh, Tony's going to say something now. Good? No, we saved the best for last. All right, we saved the best for last. We got Jenna. She's going to wish. We got Jenna here who's going to wish. Big Uncle Tony and Auntie Lashmi. Big Auntie. A happy anniversary, right? All right, go ahead, Jenna. Their 
know you're a couple, then you. May your anniversary give you all the happiness and joy you both deserve. Love kept you together for all these years and made my childhood awesome. Yay! Yay! Thank you, Jenna. Good job. Yay. Now we're gonna hear from the, the boy himself, Ethan. How are we gonna Big hear from brain. Ethan himself? <laughs> all right, Ethan. Don't make us bored. Keep it short and sweet, okay? <laughs> I know you might like to talk long, long speech. Keep it short and sweet. You're running out of time. Happy anniversary. I hope you enjoyed today. <laughs> Thank you, Ethan. Woo! Next to that, next to that. You see? Mom, Ethan Mom. is not making us uh, bored, right? No, no, no. All right, guys. Cheers to uh, 20 years of uh, happy marriage, right? Cheers. There what? we go. What? Yeah. Don't be doing it fun, see there? <laughs> Alright. How was it? Good? Yeah. Alright, give her a kiss there, man. Nail it, Tony! Nail it! Nail it! <laughs> Alright, so Nuria is going to sing a piece of a song or a verse of a song, right? For her parents, and Janet is going to attempt to dance it. Let's go. Three, two, one. We don't talk about Bruno, no, no, no. no. We don't talk about Bruno But it was my wedding, there was our wedding We were getting ready and there wasn't a cloud in the sky No clouds allowed in the sky Bruno walks in with Miss Jiffy's grin Thunder, you done the story or am I? I'm sorry, maybe the other one Bruno says it looks like rain Why did he tell us in doing so? Pull a gutsy umbrella, married in a hurricane. What a joyous day, but anyway, we don't talk about Bruno, no, no, no. We don't talk about Bruno. Yeah! Yay! Good job, good job. Excellent, Give excellent, excellent, excellent. Very good, very good. Jenna, no. Jenna, that one. Jenna, you want to sing a piece? You good? All right, Jenna is good. Oh wait, Ethan, you're going to sing one. Ethan, you're going to sing one or you're going to talk one, Mike? It's a favorite emo song. <laughs> And the dad says, because it's 90 degrees. What did the girl, when the girl cow told the brother cow that um, um, she broke up with her boyfriend, <laughs> the brother said, I guess you better move on. <laughs> Wait, I have one. What do you call a cow with no legs? Ground beef. <laughs> what did the boyfriend cow say to the girlfriend cow? Want to go to the movies? <laughs> Now that I change my dot to I love one.